Question 1. Miss Caputo is newly promoted to a patient care manager position. She updates her knowledge on the theories in management and leadership in order to become effective in her new role. She learns that some managers have low concern for services and high concern for staff. Which style of I love management refers to this? A. Organization man. B. Impoverished management. C. Country club management. D. Teen management. Answer. A. Country club management. Country club management style puts concern for the staff as number one priority at the expense of the delivery of services. He or she runs the department just like a country club where everyone is happy including the manager. Question 2. Her former manager demonstrated passion for serving her staff rather than being served. She takes time to listen, prefers to be a teacher first before being a leader, which is characteristic of a. Transformational leader. B. Transactional leader. C. Servant leader. D. Charismatic leader. Answer. C. Servant leader. Servant leaders are open-minded, listen deeply, try to fully understand others and not being judgmental. Question 3. On the other hand, Miss Caputo notices that the chief nurse executive has charismatic leadership style. Which of the following behaviors best describes this style? A. Possesses inspirational quality that makes followers gets attracted of him and regards him with him with reverence. B. Acts as he does because he expects that his behavior will yield positive results. C. Uses visioning as the core of his leadership. D. Matches his leadership style to the situation at hand. Answer. A. Possesses inspirational quality that makes followers gets attracted of him and regards him with reverence. Charismatic leaders make the followers feel at ease in their presence. They feel that they are in good hands whenever the leader is around. Question 4. Which of the following conclusions of Miss Caputo about leadership characteristics is true? A. There is a high correlation between the communication skills of a leader and the ability to get the job done. B. A manager is effective when he has the ability to plan plan well. C. Assessment of personal traits is a reliable tool for predicting a manager's potential. D. There is good evidence that certain personal qualities favor success in managerial role. Answer. C. Assessment of personal traits is a reliable tool for predicting a manager's potential. It is not conclusive that certain qualities of a person would make him become a good manager. It can only predict a manager's potential of becoming a good one. Question 5. She reads about path goal theory. Which of the following behaviors is manifested by the leader who uses this theory? A. Recognizes staff for going beyond expectations by giving them citations. B. Challenges the staff to take individual accountability for their own practice. C. Admonishes staff for being laggards. D. Reminds staff about the sanctions for non-performance. Answer. A. Recognizes staff for going beyond expectations by giving them citations. Path Goal Theory according to House and Associates rewards good performance so that others would do the same. Question 6. One leadership theory states that leaders are born and not made, which refers to which of the following theories? A. Trait. B. Charismatic. C. Great man.
D. Situational. Answer. C. Great man. Leaders become leaders because of their birthright. This is also called genetic theory or the Aristotelian theory. Question 7. She came across a theory which states that the leadership style is effective dependent on the situation. Which of the following styles best fits a situation when the followers are self-directed, experts and are matured individuals? A. Democratic B. Authoritarian C. Laissez-faire D. Bureaucratic Answer, C. Laissez-faire Laissez-faire leadership is preferred when the followers know what to do and are experts in the field. This leadership style is relationship-oriented rather than task-centered. Question 8. She surfs the Internet for more information about leadership styles. She reads about shared leadership as a practice in some magnet hospitals. Which of the following describes this style of leadership? A. Leadership behavior is generally determined by the relationship between the leader's personality and the specific situation. B. Leaders believe that people are basically good and need not be closely controlled. C. Leaders rely heavily on visioning and inspire members to achieve results. D. Leadership is shared at the point of care. Answer, D. Leadership is shared at the point of care. Shared governance allows the staff nurses to have the authority, responsibility and accountability for their own practice. Question 9. Ms. Caputo learns that some leaders are transactional leaders. Which of the following does not characterize a transactional leader? A. Focuses on management tasks. B. Is a caretaker. C. Uses trade-offs to meet goals. D. Inspires others with vision. Answer. D. Inspires others with vision. Inspires others with a vision is characteristic of a transformational leader. He is focused more on the day-to-day -day operations of the department, unit. Question 10. She finds out that some managers have benevolent authoritative style of management. Which of the following behaviors will she exhibit most likely? A. Have condescending trust and confidence in their subordinates. B. Gives economic or ego awards. C. Communicates downward to the staff. D. Allows decision making among subordinates. Answer. A. Have condescending trust and confidence in their subordinates. Benevolent authoritative managers pretentiously show their trust and confidence to their followers. Question 11. Henry is a unit manager I the medical unit. He is not satisfied with the way things are going in his unit. Patient satisfaction rate is 60% for two consecutive months and staff morale is at its lowest. He decides to plan and initiate changes that will push for a push for a turnaround in the condition of the unit. Which of the following actions is a priority for Henry? A. Call for a staff meeting and take this up in the agenda. B. Seek help from her manager. C. Develop a strategic action on how to deal with these concerns. D. Ignore the issues since these will be resolved naturally. Answer. A. Call for a staff meeting and take this up in the agenda. This will allow for the participation of every staff in the unit. If they contribute to the solutions of the problem, they will own the solutions, hence the chance for compliance would be greater. 
Question 12. He knows that there are external forces that influence changes in his unit. Which of the following is not an external force? A. Memo from the CEO to cut down on electrical consumption. B. Demands of the labor sector to increase wages. C. Low morale of staff in his unit. D. Exacting regulatory and accreditation standards. Answer, C. Low morale of staff in his unit. Low morale of staff is an internal factor that affects only the unit. All the rest of the options emanate from the top executive or from outside the institution. Question 13. After discussing the possible effects of the low patient satisfaction rate, the staff started to list down possible strategies to solve the problems head-on. Should they decide to vote on the best change strategy, which of the following strategies is referred to this? A. A. Collaboration. B. Majority rule. C. Dominance. D. Compromise. Answer, B. Majority rule. Majority rule involves dividing the house and the highest vote wins. One half plus one is a majority. Question 14. One staff suggests that they review the pattern of nursing care that they are using, which is described as A. A. Job description. B. System used to deliver care. C. Manual of procedure. D. Rules to be followed. Answer, B. System used to deliver care. A system used to deliver care. In the 70s it was termed as methods of patient assignment. In the early 80s it was called modalities of patient care then patterns of nursing care in the 90s until recently authors called it nursing care systems. Question 15. Which of the following is true about functional nursing? A. Concentrates on tasks and activities. B. Emphasizes use of group collaboration. C. One-to-one -one nurse patient ratio. D. Prov provides continuous, coordinated and comprehensive nursing services. Answer, A. Concentrates on tasks and activities. Functional nursing is focused on tasks and activities and not on the holistic care of the patients. Question 16. Functional nursing has some advantages. Which one is an exception? A. Psychological and sociological needs are emphasized. B. Great control of work activities. C. Most economical way of delivering nursing sing services. D. Workers feel secure independent role. Answer. A. Psychological and sociological needs are emphasized. When the functional method is used, the psychological and sociological needs of the patients are neglected, the patients are regarded as tasks to be done apostrophe. Question 17. He raised the issue on giving priority to patient needs. Which of the following offers the best way for setting priority? A. Assessing nursing needs and problems. B. Giving instructions on how nursing care needs are to be met. C. Controlling and evaluating the delivery of nursing care. D. Assigning safe nurse-patient ratio. Answer. A. Assessing nursing needs and problems. This option follows the framework of the nursing process at the same time applies the management process of planning, organizing, directing and controlling. Question 18. 
Which of the following is the best guarantee that the patient's priority needs are met? A. Checking with the relative of the patient. B. Preparing a nursing care plan in collaboration with the patient. C. Consulting with the physician. D. Coordinating with other members of the team. Answer. B. Preparing a nursing care plan in collaboration with the patient. The best source of information about the priority needs of the patient is the patient himself. Hence using a nursing care plan based on his expressed priority needs would ensure meeting his needs effectively. Question 19. When Henry uses team nursing as a care delivery system, he and his team need to assess the priority of care for a group of patients, which of the following should be a priority? A. Each patient as listed on the worksheet. B. Patients who need who needs least care. C. Medications and treatments required for all patients. D. Patients who need the most care. Answer. D. Patients who need the most care. In setting priorities for a group of patients. Those who need the most care should be a number one priority to ensure that their critical needs are met adequately. The needs of other patients who need less care can be attended to later or even delegated to assistive personnel according to rules on delegation. Question 20. He is hopeful that his unit will make a big turnaround in the succeeding months. Which of the following actions of Henry demonstrates that he has reached the third stage of change? A. Wonders why things are not what it used to be. B. Finds solutions to the problems. C. Integrate the solutions to his day-to-day -day activities. D. Selects the best change strategy. Answer. C. Integrate the solutions to his day-to-day -day activities. Integrate the solutions to his day-to-day -day activities is expected to happen during the third stage of change when the change agent incorporates the selected solutions to his system and begins to create a change. Question 21. Joey is a newly appointed nurse manager of the Holy Spirit Medical Center, a tertiary hospital located within the heart of the metropolis. He thinks of scheduling planning workshop with his staff in order to ensure an effective and efficient management of the department. Should he decide decide to conduct a strategic planning workshop, which of the following is not a characteristic of this activity? A. Long-term goal setting. B. Extends to 3-5 years in the future. C. Focuses on routine tasks. D. Determines directions of the organization. Answer. C. Focuses on routine tasks. Strategic planning involves options A, B and D except C which is attributed to operational planning. Question 22. Which of the following statements refer to the vision of the hospital? A. The Holy Spirit Medical Center is a trendsetter in tertiary health care in the next five year. B. The officers and staff of the Holy Spirit Medical Center believe in the unique unique nature of the human person. C. All the nurses shall undergo continuing competency training program. D. The Holy Spirit Medical Center aims to provide a patient-centered care in a total healing environment. Answer, A. The Holy Spirit Medical Center is a trendsetter in tertiary health care in the next five years. A vision refers to what the institution wants to become within a particular period of time. Question 23. The statement, the Holy Spirit Medical Center aims to provide patient-centered care in a total healing environment refers to which of the following? A. 
vision. B. Goal. C. Philosophy. D. Mission. Answer. B. Goal. Question 24. Joey plans to revisit the organizational chart of the department. He plans to create a new position of a patient educator who has a coordinating relationship with the head nurse in the unit. Which of the following will likely depict this organizational relationship? A. A. Box. B. Solid line. C. Broken line. D. Dotted line. Answer, C. Broken line. This is a staff relationship hence it is depicted by a broken line in the organizational structure. Question 25. He likewise stresses the need for all the employees to follow orders and instructions from him and not from anyone else. Which of the following principles does he refer to? A. Scalar chain. B. Discipline. C. Unity of command. D. Order. Answer. C. Unity of command. The principle of unity of command means that employees should receive orders coming from only one manager and not from two managers. This averts the possibility of sowing confusion among the members of the organization. Question 26. Joey orients his staff on the patterns of reporting relationship throughout the organization. Which of the following principles refer to this? A. Span of control. B. Hierarchy. C. Esprit de corps. D. Unity of direction. Answer, B. Hierarchy. Hierarchy refers to the pattern of reporting or the formal line of authority in an organizational structure. Question 27. He emphasizes to the team that they need to put their efforts together towards the attainment of the goals of the program. Which of the following principles refers to this? A. Span of control. B. Unity of direction. C. Unity of command. D. Command responsibility. Answer. B. Unity of direction. Unity of direction means having one goal or one objective for the team to pursue, hence all members of the organization should put their efforts together towards the attainment of their common goal or objective. Question 28. Joey stresses the importance of promoting esprit de corps among the members of the unit. Which of the following remarks of the staff indicates that they understand what he pointed out? A. Let's work together in harmony, we need to be supportive of one another. B. In order that we achieve the same results, we must all follow the directives of Julius and not from other managers. C. We will ensure that all the resources we need are available when needed. D. We need to put our efforts together in order to raise the bar of excellence care we provide to all our patients. Answer, A. Let's work together in harmony, we need to be supportive of one another. The principle of esprit de corps refers to promoting harmony in the workplace, which is essential in maintaining a climate conducive to work. Question 29. He discusses the goal of the department. Which of the following statements is a goal? A. Increase the patient's satisfaction rate. B. Eliminate the incidence of delayed administration of medications. C. Establish rapport with patients. D. Reduce response time to two minutes.
Answer. A. Increase the patient's satisfaction rate. Goal is a desired result towards which efforts are directed. Question 30. He wants to influence the customary way of thinking and behaving that is shared by the members of the department. Which of the following terms refer to this? A. Organizational chart. B. Cultural network. C. Organizational structure. D. Organizational culture. Answer. D. Organizational culture. An organizational culture refers to the way the members of the organization think together and do things around them together. It's their way of life in that organization.